and two convenience store clerks shot in two days. I'm just afraid he's going to end up killing somebody. Tonight, the hunt to stop a suspect before he strikes again. And police say that is a real possibility. The latest shooting happened this morning at the Chevron in Midland, just six miles from where another clerk was shot just yesterday. Kara Seven's Jessica O oh is live in Midland tonight, and in both cases, the store clerks were shot after being robbed, Jessica. Monique, and the 23-year-old man who is behind the counter at this convenience store is in serious condition tonight. Police say he was shot even after being robbed, and that's what they say is especially frightening about these back-to-back -back burglaries, robberies. When that clerk sees a gun pointed at him, there's no hesitation handing over the cash. But that guy with a gun won't stop making demands. Get your money, man. Exactly. All the other runs. They go back and forth, and when he perceives the clerks being difficult, he pulls the trigger. I'm just afraid he's going to end up killing somebody. The cold-blooded shooting stunned customers at the Midland Chevron. That clerk is only 23 years old. Amar Singh's his brother. Like they should got caught, like they're hurting people, you know, on the gas stations. And we believe it's the same suspect that was in Tacoma and robbed the 7-Eleven and also shot the store clerk yesterday. Notice the suspect's purple gloves in both robberies. Detectives say he shot two Pierce County clerks in two days, but only after they tried to comply. How do you become that numb? April Bowden's a customer at the Tacoma 7 Eleven where the first clerk was shot. Hearing that it happened again is terrifying yet baffling. What can that person possibly be going through in life to feel like that's their only option left? Now detectives are worried he'll hit again and injure another clerk. Customers can't help but feel scared. After watching this video, they say it seems like the suspect has nothing to lose. That's the part that breaks my heart. Like, there's no sense of remorse, it seems. And the person behind the counter, his whole family is now broken. And the 7 Eleven in Tacoma, by the way, is so worried that this is going to happen again. They're actually closing their doors early in the overnight hours to minimize that risk. Detectives say that suspect is clearly very experienced at this. And since he had most of his face covered, they think it's going to be very tough to try to identify him. Reporting live in Midland tonight, I'm Jessica O, Cairo 7 News.